Hello EFD squad and welcome back to Scout Report, where today we're bringing you our top five signings of the summer transfer window. Stay tuned. Five, Serge Aurier. We start off our list with a deadline day deal. And with Tottenham selling right back Kyle Walker for a whopping £50 million, they needed to fill that void. And who better than Serge Aurier? At the tender age of 24, his game has already evolved several times. He was more attack-minded at Lens, but his role changed somewhat at PSG. He had to focus more on defence in the capital, although he still averaged 1.1 chances created per game for the Parisians. Comfortable with the ball, the Ivorian happily gets involved in his side's build-up play too. Averaging nearly 41 passes per game, that's higher than both Walker and Kieran Trippier. He can also be a force of nature driving with the ball, successfully taking on his man just over once a game down the right-hand side. But his most impressive stats come from his defensive output, with a huge 1.5 interceptions per game, doubling that of Trippier's. And he's also better than the Englishman in the air, winning 2.8 aerial duels per game, to trip is 0.46. And at just £23 million, this represents great value for money in the current market, although Pochettino does need to keep the Ivorian out of trouble. 4. Jeffrey Kondogbia In the froth of the summer's transfer tsunami, Jeffrey Kondogbia's loan switch to Valencia went almost ignored. The Frenchman joined Los Che as part of a deal taking Jao Cancelo to Inter Milan and the Spaniards have the option to make the move permanent in 2018. Kondogbia is one of the many casualties of the Nerazzori's recent dysfunction, but his numbers have been consistently excellent. In fact, they're reminiscent of one of the most unusual and underrated midfielders around, that's Tottenham's Moussa Dembele. Last season, Kondogbia's standout ability was his dribbling. With 2.9 completed take-ons every match, he was fourth in Serie A and the only players to exceed his output were wingers, who usually have more time and space to work with. In the Prem, Dembele is slightly ahead with 3.3 per match, but even the Belgian couldn't match Kondogbia's success rate. The former Sevilla man succeeded in an unbelievable 88% of the dribbles he attempted to Dembele's 84%, both unbelievable. That's actually the highest we've ever seen on a scout report. Kondogbia isn't much of a creator though, making less than one chance every two games, but he still drives his team forward. 62% of his passes go upfield to the attackers, while Dembele is down on 57% for Spurs. And his defensive work is solid too. The French international racks up a combined 4.4 tackles and interceptions per 90, surpassing Dembele's 3.5 and the 3.6 managed by Sergio Busquets. Meanwhile, his six foot two frame means he wins more than half of his aerial duels, just about. And with experience in Ligue 1, Serie A and La Liga, he's a very well travelled and tested 24 year old. And a good season in Spain could see Valencia turn an immediate profit on him next summer. Which, you know, they need because they do terrible business. 3. Keita Balde Another export from the Italian league and joining one of Condogbia's previous clubs, it's Kaita Balde Diao. The 22-year-old steps into the space left by Mbappe and Bernardo Silva at Monaco, fresh from a 16-goal, three-assist campaign with Lazio. That goal return is no surprise, given that Keita takes a whopping 2.4 shots from inside the box every single game. That's more than an elite young striker like Romelu Lukaku managed for Everton last season, and indicates intelligent decision making. Very fast and six foot tall, Keita's physique equips him to take on centre backs, but he also has the skill to beat defenders in wide areas too, with 2.5 dribbles completed per 90 last season. That's not far off Sadio Mane's 2.7. And like the Liverpool man, his international teammate Keita is capable of playing on both wings or as a more conventional striker. However, Keita's creative ability looks even better than Mane's. His tally of two key passes a game is actually closer to Roberto Firmino's and is superior to the numbers put up by Mbappe or Bernardo Silva in the Principality. Meanwhile, Keita gets fouled 2.5 times a match, so expect Tom Lamar to get plenty of set-piece opportunities with the Senegalese on the other wing. Thanks to an expiring contract, the Monegasques secured their man for way beneath market value at just £30 million. 
if they can resolve his famous attitude issues, they'll have a superstar on their hands yet again. 2. Dalbert With Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal and a host of other European clubs looking for a left-back in 2017, it's amazing that Inter Milan secured Dalbert Henrique for just €20 million. Euros. The Brazilian made 33 league appearances for a Nice side which conceded under a goal a game in Liga in last season. A more defensive fullback than Ricardo Pereira, who played on the right for Les Inglots, Dalbert won the ball back 3.6 times per game in 2016-17, about the same as Tottenham's Danny Rose and far more than Jordi Alba, who recovered possession just 2.4 times. That solidity helps make up for a general lack of attacking output, and Dalbert was perhaps lucky to get two assists in Ligue 1, given that he creates just 0.7 chances a match. He also sends more than half of his passes backwards or sideways, though, with Pereira producing similar stats, it's possible that coach Lucien Favre preferred the fullbacks to pass conservatively. The defender does have the skills to be an attacking threat, though. He's exceptionally fast for one, wins 55% of his aerial duels, that's a lot for a fullback, even one six feet tall like Dalbert, and he dribbles past his man 1.4 times every 90. Marcus often resorts to fouling the 23-year-old as he wins more than one free kick a game. That's more than he gives away, always a healthy sign. Now Nagamoto is 30, it's smart business for Inter to sign his long-term heir this summer. And at that price, Dalbert hasn't even dented Luciano Spalletti's incoming war chest. 1. Neymar in our number one spot, it could only be Neymar. The Brazilian winger shocked the world with a move to PSG this summer, and he certainly hasn't looked out of place in the French capital, contributing to three goals and three assists in just three games. Yes, Neymar looks set to be worth every penny of that lofty fee. But to truly understand why PSG parted with 220 million euros, we're going to take a look at his stats from last season. It wasn't even the Brazilian's most prolific season for the Blaugrana last season, but he still managed 13 goals and 11 assists. Somewhat lacklustre on his previous return of 24, but still a massive attacking powerhouse. Neymar can operate as a playmaker or as a goal scorer. He can pretty much do what the fuck he wants, creating three chances a game while at Barca, a number that's jumped to 5.3 at PSG. Probably not sustainable, so. And it goes without saying at this point, he's one of the best players at taking on his man in the world at current. At Barca, he was doing it 5.6 times per 90. Are you ready for this? At Paris, he's averaging 11 take-ons a game. I'm going to lose my mind. The forward is an effective shooter too, averaging 3.6 shots a match, with the vast majority coming from inside the box. Similar numbers to Swedish veteran Zlatan Ibrahimovic, indicating there's a mature head on those young shoulders. The 220 million euro transfer fee has ushered in a new era of stupid football signings. However, alarmingly, he's starting to look like value for money in France's capital. So there are five best signings of the summer transfer window in 2017, but who we missed out, guys? Let us know, as always, in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, go and watch me potentially batter Van Straten on Stat Wars and as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe.